Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. So in this video, I wanted to create an updated balloon column tutorial. I had made a video like a couple of years ago and because I was new to YouTube and I was super nervous, there were some things that I left out. And I get questions on this video all of the time. As a matter of fact, this balloon column tutorial that I made a couple of years ago is my second most viewed video on YouTube, okay? So what I wanted to do in this video, I'm just gonna walk you guys through how I create my balloon columns now because it has changed. And then I'm gonna take the opportunity to answer all of your questions. All right, so let's get started. First, let me walk you through the materials that you're gonna need for this balloon column. You're gonna need a balloon sizer. So that's what I have here, a wooden one. And then you're going to need a stand. So for my balloon columns, I use a floor lamp. And as you can see, it comes with a base and then multiple like pieces. And then here's a stone, a gray stone, and I'll explain to you why you'll need that later. And then next, you're gonna need some 11 inch balloons. Now, some brands have 12 inch balloons. You could use those. As you can see, this is a red that I'm gonna be using from Tough Tex. And then this is a rose pink color from Simpertex. And then I forgot what this color is, but I'll make sure I put it in the description of this video, okay? But these are all 11 inch balloons, okay? And then you're also going to need a big balloon to put on the top. So I'm not sure whether I'm gonna do red or pink, but these are both 24 inch balloons, even though the red one looks a little bit smaller than the pink one, okay? So you're gonna need a big balloon for the top and then you're also going to need a 260 balloon. I'll be sure to put a link for those in the description of the video. And then last but not least, you're gonna need a balloon pump, okay? Either a hand pump or an electric pump. But an electric pump is definitely preferred because when you use the hand pump, it is a lot of work, okay? So these, I'm just stepping back here, these are all of the materials that you're gonna need to create this balloon column. All right, so let's start creating the balloon column. The first thing that I like to do is to put my stand together. You're gonna need a stand to be able to hold all of the balloons together on the balloon column, okay? Now, as I stated before, I like to use my floor lamp. I got this floor lamp years ago. So I'm pretty sure that this is not available anymore on Amazon. I'm gonna make sure that I go on Amazon and Walmart and Target and give you guys some options to use for a floor lamp, okay? Now, one of the questions that you guys ask me all the time is what do you do with the cord, right? When you buy a floor lamp, it plugs into the wall, it plugs into the outlet. So you guys ask me, you know, what do you do with that cord? Now, with my floor lamp that I ordered, it didn't come with a cord. So I didn't have to do anything. But I'm pretty sure, guys, you can just cut it off. So if you get a floor lamp and it has a cord attached to it, just get some heavy duty scissors and cut that cord off, okay? Another question that I get from you guys a lot is what happens if you're having an outdoor event? Is the floor lamp sturdy enough to use for an outdoor event? So when I'm doing these for an outdoor event, I actually just booked a client in June and she wants me to do some balloon columns so what I'm gonna be doing is I just go to Home Depot and I get two bricks or two pieces of stone like this. And then all I do is I just glue that to the base, 
right? These stones and bricks, I'm pretty sure they only cost like two or three dollars, okay? And then while you're at Home Depot or Lowe's or any other home improvement store, just get some Gorilla Glue, so, so some really good glue, and then glue it to the bottom of the base. And then that way you'll have a weight to hold down your balloon column for your outdoor event, okay? Actually, what I do when I'm gluing it to the base, I use Gorilla Glue and I use hot glue because I just wanna make sure that it's gonna stay, okay? So I actually use two types of glue when I'm gluing this to the base. But if you're having an indoor event, don't worry. This is heavy enough. Your floor lamp should be heavy enough it should be, it should be heavy enough to hold the weight of the balloon column and not tip over. But honestly, you know, it really depends on your floor lamp and whichever one that you get. So if you're not sure, just go to Home Depot and get some of these bricks and stones and put it on the bottom of your base anyway, okay? I actually have a video where I walk you through that. So I'll be sure to put the link in the description so you can check that out. And please bear with me because that's an older video. So the sound may not be too good, okay? So now I'm just gonna start putting my floor lamp together to create this stand. Another question that I get a lot from you guys is do I let my clients keep these floor lamps? Do I let them keep the stands that I use to make my balloon columns? And the answer is no. <laughs> no, I do not let my clients keep my inventory, okay? Now, the way that my business is set up is that when I decorate my clients' events, I'm literally like providing the inventory just as rentals for them. I really don't offer anything that my clients actually keep unless, it, unless it's like personalized, right? So if I do something and it has the client's name on it or if it has a date on it, those are things that my clients keep. But my stands... They stay in my inventory. I reuse them over and over and over and over again, okay? So when it comes to my clients' events, I always go back and clean up, right? So when I clean up, I normally pop all the balloons and then I take the stands. So if you guys are worried about clients who are gonna wanna keep the stands, normally they don't, okay? So what you can just tell your clients is that when you're offering your balloon decorations, your stands are being offered as rentals, and that you will come back after the event. If the event is at their house, you can come back the next day or a couple of days later, right, and pop all the balloons and then retrieve your stands. So make sure you have a contract. If you need a contract, I will put the link to my contract in the description of this video, but make sure it's very clear to your clients that everything that you're providing is a rental or just let them know at the minimum, right? Your stands are provided as a rental and you will be coming to retrieve them, okay? So that answers that question. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start blowing up my balloons because I do that differently now. I do not use this hand pump anymore. And it's funny because when I look back at my older videos and, I'm, and I see myself using this pump, I'm like, whew, I'm tired just watching myself use this pump. Now, it's okay, right, if you're just starting off, if you want to, you know, use the hand pump because you know, the electric pump that I'm gonna show you how to use. If the electric pump is just too much for you and it's easier for you to use your hand pump, feel free to do that, okay? But in this video, I'm gonna focus on showing you how to use the electric pump to blow up your balloons and then to size them with a balloon sizer 
to make your life easier, okay? I'm going to talk you through what I'm doing. So with the balloon sizer, I'm going to be blowing up all of my balloons to eight inches. I do not like blowing up my balloons to the full size, right? So we're using 11 inch balloons and I'm going to size them down to eight inches. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting the balloon in the balloon sizer and I'm letting out some air, okay? And then I'm just gonna show you again. I'm just letting out air until it fits in that eight inch opening, okay? All right, so now I just like to eyeball it just to make sure that they're the same size and then I'm gonna take one balloon and wrap it around twice, and then I'm gonna tie the ends together, okay? If you have seen one of my balloon garland tutorials, I do it the same exact way. Now you're gonna see me do it again. I'm just blowing up the balloons and then taking air out until it fits in that eight inch opening. Now, if you want, you could use nine inch as well. So you can blow up your balloons to nine inches. I just wouldn't go any bigger than that, okay? So now I'm just wrapping it around twice and then tying it together. Now I'm gonna take the red balloons and then I'm gonna twist two balloons together, right? And now I'm just gonna position the balloons the way I want them to go. So now it's time to add our balloons to the stand, to the floor lamp, okay? Now this is a set of four balloons, as you can see. A set of four balloons is called a quad, okay? So this is a balloon quad. So now I'm gonna take this quad and attach it to the stand. Now you wanna make sure, because we're gonna create a spiral pattern, you wanna make sure your balloons are arranged like this, okay? So make sure you have two, two of the same color right next to each other. And I'm gonna show you why, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slide the stand in between two of these balloons, okay? So we're just gonna go like this and slide it onto the stand. Okay, now we're gonna take these two balloons, right? I just wanna show you. We're gonna take these two balloons here and we're gonna twist them together.
you see? So you're literally just taking one balloon and moving it to the other side. And that's how you twist them together. All right. And now we're going to continue doing this. So here's my second quad right here. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add. Oops, let's do it like this. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to slip the stand in between these two balloons. Okay, and then just like before, I'm gonna twist the pink one over the red one. And push it down. And as you can see, right, the spiral is starting to form. Right, the spiral is starting to form. So this is the most important part that I forgot in my last tutorial. I forgot to show you guys how I attach the balloon on the top, okay? So as you can see, I have a 260 that I just tied around this 24 inch balloon. And then all you do is just take the 260 and wrap it around the balloons that's in the balloon column, okay? You see, you don't even have to tie the 260. Just as long as you wrap it around the balloons, you wanna wrap it around multiple balloons to really get it tangled in there, and then that way it'll stick. You don't even need to tie the 260, all right? Now the last question that I will answer in this video is how do you attach flowers to your balloon column? Because in my last video, I added some gold like leaves at the end, okay? So what I want to show you guys, I'm going to make this a Valentine's Day column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some red roses. So all you have to do is just make sure that you have an extra balloon. And then you put your flowers... in the balloon, okay, all right, because you don't want to stick your flowers directly into the balloons, they will pop, all right, so you want to make sure that you either put them in an extra balloon or you can get some floral tape and just wrap your flowers in that floral tape. Just make sure there's nothing sharp, okay? Because there have been times where I use the floral tape and then added it to my balloons and my balloons still pop, okay? So once you put it in the extra balloon, then you could just pop it into 
your balloon column. So here is my Valentine's Day themed balloon column. I hope I answered all of your questions in this updated tutorial, but if there is something that I missed, please feel free to put it in the comments, okay? Make sure you check the description of the video. I'm going to put all of the materials that I use and the balloon counts and the link to these flowers if you want to purchase those, all right? If you have any other questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video.